Hey guys, Sam here from Speedline Technology. Today I'm going to be doing a review on an iOS app called 3030. So this app was created by a developer called Binary Hammer. Um, this app is a very unpopular app, but it is a very useful one indeed. So I'm going to be showing you around this app today. So it's free in the App Store, um, iOS App Store. It supports iPad and I iPhone, I believe. Um, as you can see, I've just opened it up. And you're... Uh, faced with a grey screen that has some simple instructions on. So up here I'm just going to click in here or do you, you double click actually and I'm going to call my task list oops I'm going to call this test done and there we go it has some really nice sound effects too and then it says spread apart zoom in or uh, vertically below the dial to create a new task so I'm going to do that there we go, and now I can create a new task. So I can say, um, read. Choose the book icon, uh, say 30 minutes, and done. And then say I wanted to have a coffee break for um, half an hour or whatever. I can say break uh, coffee and then choose. I can change the color. This I'm going to leave this one yellow though. And then I'm going to say, um, I want I have to do some work uh, for an hour oops uh, just like that and I'm going to make this one red instead of orange whoops oops if I double click on it um, click that and click red there we go so that's my order I've put them in um, if I just move this divider down out of the way because that means they've been done they'll go underneath there you'll see what I mean later though um, so now I've got read for 30 minutes then have a break for 30 minutes then work for two, um, an hour but say I wanted to delete one of these I can just swipe it off the screen uh, but you have to make sure you swipe it to the right if you swipe it to the left it will just go underneath the divider whoops like that um, and then if I move this one there we go uh, so I'm just gonna re um, add my break one back on there so you zoom in uh, break choose the coffee icon there are a load of icons as you can see loads of nice ones there's two pages uh, the first one is just general stuff the second one tends to be uh, holidays so I'm gonna set this one I think it was yellow again there we go and if I drag that um, if I hold down on the divider and bring it down, there we go. Uh, I've actually clicked the wrong icon on this one. Yeah, so you want to make sure this divider is down the bottom uh, most of the time, unless it's already been completed. So then you can lock this into place. There we go. Uh, that, these are locked now, so um, I can't edit them. Oh, uh, I thought, I actually did think this uh, lock would lock them in place, obviously it doesn't, I'll have to look into what that lock does, because I've never really used the lock before. Um, so let's start this, so if we click the play button, it starts, and as you can see it's gone green because that's the colour of my reading event, and now a couple more things have appeared and the countdown, so um, you can choose done or delete or move to the bottom or whatever you want to do so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make it go a little bit quicker so you can hear what happens uh, when it gets to the end so if we just wait seven seconds you can see that it moves that one underneath the divider and starts the new event there we go so that works great and then I can say this one's done and it'll do exactly the same or I can move this one to the bottom and there we go that's my day done but uh, you can also pause it I believe by clicking on it there we go uh, that's paused or you can hold down to stop the day uh, you can have multiple uh, lists of um, task lists well, I'm not sure what they're exactly called uh, yeah there we go and they say you can tap with three fingers to copy which, uh, there we go, I managed to create two, and then I can edit this one or whatever, but I'm going to get one, rid of one of these, uh, oh, you'll probably swipe a different one of you, yeah, there we go, 
not the one you're on, it doesn't work that way. So I'm just going to show you some of the settings. So first of all, you can share the list with other people. There's help. If I click help, I might explain what the lock does. Right, so it does explain that what the lock does is it stops you from deleting things, uh, but it still says you can change the task order. So the lock only stops you from accidentally deleting things, which is quite easy to do on such a big screen. So it is kind of useful. Uh, then there's news, uh, in-app shop. I don't know what uh, that actually has. Oh, you can uh, buy more icon packs. That's quite interesting. Um, there's the rate button. You can have the screen to stay on or off. Shake to undo your previous action. Um, sounds, so you can turn the sounds off. Uh, or you can change them, actually, uh, which is quite nice. Oops, I have just disabled that. There we go. I just put that back on. Um, you can choose to have notifications on or off. I tend to keep that on. It has iCloud backup. Uh, you can stop it from showing the time or the duration. And you can also have it so it auto-pauses after every task. So you can choose the next one yourself or whatever. And you can have it loop. So if you have like a, a ongoing continuous task. Let's say you had it for the 24 hours. You can have that. Um, loop automatically which is pretty useful I did have one at one point it took a long time to configure though and it was annoying because I didn't stick to it but yeah this app is great uh, whoops that was supposed to exit the app there we go uh, yeah so this app is great um, you can get it at the app store it's free uh, it's called 30 slash 30 there will be a link down in the description below and if you're on your iOS and if you're on your iOS device right now you will be able to click that link and go straight to the App Store. But anyway guys, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.